Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today we are finally going to be adding my five baby convict cichlids to my 15 gallon aquarium. We've had this 15 gallon tank set up for a little over two weeks now. And if you look closely, you can see we also added in a little school of common guppies just to help jumpstart the cycle in this tank. And now I know this tank is completely ready for my convict cichlids. But along with that, we're also going to be doing a few other things in this video. First of all, we are going to be draining down this tank a little bit to where I can move it off the stand. And I'm going to be putting this little pad under there and I'll talk more about that when we get to it. Along with that, we're also going to go into our 37 gallon tank, which you can see I actually added a little Easter Island decoration in there. Not sure yet whether I like it or not, but it can stay for now. But like I was saying, we're going to go into this tank and grab these little baby java ferns that are growing. You can see there's a bunch. There's like two or three right there, two or three more over here. We're going to take those baby java ferns and actually add them to this tank. You can see there's already a ton of plants in here, but I just want some more. So we are going to be doing that. And then I also think we're going to make a stop or two at a couple local fish stores. I do want to get a Farlow a catfish and a dwarf crayfish. I'm hoping we can get at least one of those two things, if not both. And real quick, let me show you what a Farloella catfish is. I actually already have one. Right over here in my 37 gallon tank, he's kind of hiding back there. You can see he's latched onto the filter. That is indeed a fish. It's called a Farloella catfish, aka the twig catfish, because it looks like a stick. It's almost like a Placo, but it does not poop nearly as much, and I think they just look cooler. And I think I know of a fish store that has them in stock right now. So we're going to stop by and take a look. Again, also going to look for that dwarf crayfish. And if we we can get those things they will also be going in this 15 gallon tank and then of course when we're done with all that we are going to head over to the fish room and pick up our five baby convict cichlids bring them on over here and toss them in this 15 gallon tank but the very first thing i'm going to do is get all that hornwort out of this tank and then i'm going to try and catch as many of the guppies out of here as possible a lot of you guys are probably wondering why don't i just keep them in here for the cichlids to eat but a couple of the guppies in here are just about the same size as those cichlids and i wouldn't want the cichlids trying to eat these guys and like choke on them or something so i am going to try and remove as many of the guppies as possible. I'm obviously not gonna like take apart the whole scape of this tank. So we're just gonna get what we can. And that is what I'm gonna do right now. So I'll see you guys when I'm done catching the guppies. Alrighty guys, well I may be wrong, but I believe I just caught every single guppy out of this tank, including the babies. And here they all are, right in this bucket. And I think these guppies actually had another generation of babies because there are some tiny ones in there. And when I put them in this tank, I didn't think there were any that small. But what we're gonna do now is actually head out of here. We're gonna stop at the pet stores, see if we can find those two things we were looking for. Then after that, we're gonna get these guppies back over to the fish room. We'll feed everyone while we're there. Then we'll come back here with the convict cichlids. Then we'll deal with everything else I was talking about with the plants from the 37 gallon with that padding under the tank. We'll do all that when we get back. It's getting a little late, so I wanna make sure we can get to the pet stores before they close. And with that being said, I'll see you there. Psych, all the pet stores are closed. I guess they close an hour early on Sundays. So I'm just gonna go back out to the pet stores in the morning, but right now, we're just gonna head on over to the fish room, drop these guppies off, and pick up our convict cichlids. All right, you guys, so here we are over at the fish room. We've got our guppy tank right here. This is where we're gonna be returning our guppies to. We've got them all here in this bucket, and what we're gonna do is dump this bucket through this net into this other bucket which should hopefully catch all the fish and then we can just put them straight into the tank from the net and there they go and here they go back into their old home linking back up with their buddies i think they're all definitely happy to see each other now we are currently feeding everyone you can see right down here the turtles munching away i'll try and get a quick shot of midas finding a pellet oh there it is and I guess I'll give you guys a couple little updates. I mean, literally nothing has changed in the fish room since you guys last saw it. Everybody is still alive, as they should be. Here's the 75-gallon cichlid tank. We got our boy Pluto over in this 40-gallon. He's doing great, getting big. Our two baby red-tailed catfish are still doing awesome. There's one of them in his barrel, and then the other one right over here. And of course, we got the big boy tank. These are the fish that are going in our 500-gallon pool pond back home. Definitely cannot wait to see them in there. And these guys right over here are coming home with us today. Our five baby convict cichlids right here is KJ, Killer Jr. Then you can see the others hanging out in that plant. These guys are going to love their new tank. I used to have like driftwood and live plants in here, but we did actually use all that in the new tank. So I just put a little artificial plant in there, but hey, it looks like they're fine with it. But right now I am going to go ahead and finish feeding everyone. And then we're going to grab the convict cichlids out of their tank and take them on back home. All right, guys. So everybody is fed and now we are ready to get our convict cichlids out of their tank into this bucket. So we're going to pop the lid off of this thing and I'm going to to get this plant out of here just so it doesn't get in the way the first one right here that was way too easy 
Man, these guys have been in here forever. It literally might be forever. I think I put them in here like when they were just born. I'll have to look back on that, but this is like the first time I've ever really had to catch them. You can see Killer Jr. right there. He's put on some serious size. Three more left, and this is just so easy to catch them for some reason. <laughs> I think like they literally just don't know what like being caught is. They've never yeah. gone through this, so they don't know to be scared of it. But here we've got the next one. <laughs> Swim <laughs> into the net. Where is the last one hiding? Behind the heater? Oh, behind the filter, you smart little sucker. Okay, so I'm into the net again. Right, thank you very much. All right, well, that was the quickest and easiest fish catching I've ever done. So yeah, there they are in the bucket. Here, let me get it under the light. All five of them in there. I cannot wait to see them in this 15 gallon tank. They're gonna look amazing in there. And yeah, like I said, hopefully tomorrow we can get those other two things I was talking about, the twig catfish and the crawfish. And uh, these little cichlids will have some tank mates potentially. So yeah, we're gonna get these guys all loaded up into the truck and I'll see you guys back at home. All right guys, so we are back at the house and right here, as you can see, and probably also here, I did throw an air pump into this bucket for the convict cichlids because like I was talking about earlier, I do need to drain this tank to the point where I can move it off the stand. And then I'm gonna put this pad on top of the stand. This did come with the tank. And I'll actually turn this off for a sec so you guys can hear me. When I first set up this 15 gallon tank, for whatever reason, I thought that the pad that goes under the tank was like optional. I didn't think you needed to use it, but you guys were quick to let me know in the comments that I should use it because it actually helps like distribute the weight of the tank across the stand. And it pretty much stops there from being like a weak point in the bottom of the glass, if that makes sense. Because if one little spot is under too much pressure, it can actually crack and break. So thank you guys for letting me know. That's why I read my comments. And I figured the best time to do all this would be when there's no fish in the tank. So that's why we're doing it right now. Alrighty guys, well as you can see here, the tank is back to normal, kinda. It is a little bit cloudy just from me draining it and filling it back up. I did fill this tank back up with the same water that I drained from it. It's the exact same temperature as it was before. However, I do want to let this tank run for a little bit before I put the cichlids in here. I just wanna give that filter a little bit of time to work, get those particles out of the water. Not that it really matters, but in case you guys don't know, I really care about these cichlids. I did breed them myself, and I just want the best for them, you know? They're like my kids. So we are gonna let this tank run for like 15-ish minutes and then we will be ready to put our convict cichlids into this tank. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, it has been about 15 minutes. The tank definitely looks a little bit better than it did a second ago. And it is finally time to get our five baby convict cichlids into their new home. I think it's fitting that we start with Killer Jr. since he's kind of the leader of the pack. So there he goes. Dang, he honestly makes his tank look a little small. And like I mentioned a couple videos ago, they're only gonna be in here for like a few weeks until I can get their new tank over here, but they will be just fine in here for the time being. But I've got two more of them right here. And there they go. And yeah, see, they don't look too bad in here. It's just Killer Jr. is way bigger than the rest of them. And I've got the last two right here. There's one and there's two. All five of them are in. And check that out, guys. The first close-up look at the cichlids in the 15-gallon tank. And look at him. His colors actually look really good right now. And they don't seem too stressed out. They're kind of just exploring. They've never really been in a different tank other than their 10-gallon back at the fish room. So they're definitely a bit confused. But they have way more places to hide in this tank. Killer Jr. can get a little feisty at times. So the others have plenty of hiding spaces to get away from him. Which is always a good thing when you have American cichlids together. And yeah, what I want to do right now is just turn off the light in this tank, turn off the lights in this room. It just helps the fish be less stressed out whenever they get into a new tank. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But like I said, tomorrow morning we are going to go to the fish stores and look for another twig catfish as well as a dwarf crayfish. I really want to have them in this tank. I think they would look awesome in there. Just imagine a tiny little bright red crayfish crawling around the bottom of this tank. I can definitely see it. So hopefully we can make that happen. And of course, I'll give you guys another update on the convicts in the morning. Might even try feeding them. I don't know if they'll eat yet. I I'm sure they will, honestly, but I guess we'll just have to find out. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next morning. As you can see, I'm actually back over here at the fish room. And that's because I went out to the pet stores today. I did find a twig catfish. Didn't find a dwarf crayfish, but I'm gonna keep looking. Here is our Farloella catfish acclimating in this 40 gallon tank. He's been acclimating for about 25 minutes now. And as you can see in the bag with him, that is actually an assassin snail. I've always wanted to get one of these. It's called an assassin snail because these guys apparently kill any other snail in the tank with them. And as you guys can see over here in my 25 gallon tank, we have a bunch of these pets 
pest snails. They just come in on plants that you get. They're really hard to control sometimes. So I wanted to see if this assassin snail actually works and if he takes out all the other snails in this tank. So right now we are going to go ahead and get our Farlowell catfish into his 40 gallon tank. He's going to have this tank to himself for now. I am just quarantining him in this tank. I do want to put him in that 15 gallon tank when he's done quarantining. And then like I said, assassin snail going in the 25. So I'm actually just going to see if I can grab the twig catfish. My twig catfish twiggy actually lets me pick him up with my bare hands. So we're going to see if this guy lets us do the same. And yeah, it looks like he does. Oh, I dropped him. Yep, look at that. There's our new Farlowella catfish. Might name him Twiggy Jr. But he is going into this 40 gallon tank to quarantine. There's a look at him right down there. These guys are just crazy looking. Literally looks like a stick. Obviously that's why their nickname is the Twig Catfish. But now we're gonna reach into this bag here and grab our assassin snail. And we're gonna drop this guy into the 25 gallon tank. There he goes down to the bottom. And now I guess we're just gonna see if there's a decrease in the pest snail population. And if I just happen to catch him eating one of the other snails, of course I'll get a video of it and show you guys but yeah hopefully he does his thing so we are gonna let that twig catfish quarantine for about a week to 10 days then we will be throwing him in that 15 gallon tank it's not gonna be in this video because I do want to upload this tomorrow but you guys will of course see that in a future video and yeah now we're gonna head back to the house and I'll give you guys an update on the convict cichlids alright guys we are back over here at the house and like I said I do want to give you guys an update on the convict cichlids in the 15 gallon tank and if you take a look at the tank you cannot see any of the fish and that's because they're still being a little bit suspicious they just been hiding pretty much ever since I put them in this tank. However, I did actually feed them last night and if you take a look here, I start shaking the food and rattling the top. There's the first little guy. They remember exactly what that means. Oh, here come the others. So they know when it's feeding time and we are going to go ahead and drop in some flakes for them right now. And as you can see, they all start heading to the top. There's KJ right there. Oh, he just got a big old piece. It is definitely a good thing that they are eating in this tank the day after going in. Let's just look at them from a distance real quick. They look so cool in here. And yeah, they're just absolutely munching right now. So that pretty much is gonna wrap up this video. If you guys remember, I did say I was gonna put some more Java ferns in that 15 gallon, but I think I just wanna do that another time. I'm not sure if it's gonna be on video or not, but you guys will see it eventually. Other than that, like I've already said a million times, I am so happy to finally have the convict cichlids over here. And I absolutely cannot wait to get the rest of the fish and the tanks over here. We finally have the electric situation and the new fish room figured out, so it is time to start moving everyone else over here. Be sure to stay tuned for all that. It is going to be awesome. And a bit of a spoiler, but I think the turtles are going to be the next animals to be moved over here. And then after that, I think it's pool pond time. So that is going to wrap up this video. Today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications and I'm going to see you in the next video. So we are just going to go back out to the pet stores in the morning. Dude.